Hey viewer, in this video we will learn what is central file, worksets and local copy. When we compare with mechanical software with Revit, we can easily understand why we really need this central file and worksets. This is called axle assembly in mechanical. For more understanding about this parts, we can use this. In this totally we have four parts, one is axle bearing and hub again bearing so all the mechanical software will have three file types one is part file assembly file drawing file in this axle part file can work on one person bearing part file can be working on another one person parallelly this part file also will be working on others so once if these four part files are finished then they can share they can give it to the other engineer they can work on assembly parallelly other engineer can work on the drawings so for getting the drawing they will have totally six files four part files and these two files in our case I mean in Revit we have only one file then how we can share the work with others so sharing the work with others we are creating this work sets they have the uh, file types but we have we are we have the work sets so we are creating the name as axle work set and we are sharing with one engineer and we are creating a bearing work set and we are we are sharing with the other engineers so this process creating the work set process is called central file once if we created the work sets then the central file process is done so now your doubt will be how to create the work sets for that go to the revit file click new project Now we have only two steps to uh, create the central file. In that first step is go to collaborate, click on work sets. Now type Excel as per the mechanical example. Click on OK. Now we can create here n number of work sets as like we told bearing. And hub. Now work sets are created. First step is finished. The second step is we need to notice here synchronous tab is not opened. So the second step will be we need to save the file. Once if you save the file, this process will be done. I mean the central file process is done. I am saving as project one. I am saving it in desktop. Now the central file process is finished and then what is local copy for understanding the local copy I am showing the it's AutoCAD file in the AutoCAD file under that we have we can see the backup copy this will be this backup copy will be created by the AutoCAD default but in our uh, Revit, it will not be created as a default. We need to create that. Then how to create that? Once if we created the central file, just we need to close it and again open the same file. Then this backup copy will be created. That we will see how to do that. So now this central file is done. I am going to close it for to create the local copy and again I am going to open the same file this is the one now we can notice here default Revit will take the 
create new local copy then just open it so now the central file work sets and local copy 3 is completed and now additional information now you have done something like wall or something and you wanted to come out from the central file you don't want to work with central file then what should be done then close this before closing you need to synchronize I will tell you later again go to the open I mean this process is to come out from the central file so instead of create new local copy we need to use detach from central this is mainly used for to review the project or sending the file to the client or something purpose for that reason when we do this this will completely come out from the central so this we can use it for the detach option and another information I am using at the create new local copy now you can consider I am the uh, you are sharing the work with me and what should I do I think it's not is not responding I will just close it Okay, now you consider you have shared the work with me then I am going to take the work so I will do I will access the same file what you have saved in the server and I am going to I will open as a create new local copy here go to I will go to the collaborate and here these all are not editable so this option will be fine you can find in your you need to give, give the access whichever I need to edit so this will be done by yours your system you need to do that once if you do that here will be the accessible I mean I can able to access this one which work set you are allotting that can be accessed by me so I need to choose that one and then once if I am doing something like wall you can consider like here yeah, I am doing any wall or something then I need to synchronize this one this is the important once if I synchronize then only whatever I have done that will be updated in your model and what is what is about the save option if I do the only save I didn't do the synchronize consider that I didn't do synchronize I am done only save then this will be saved in my backup copy what I have stored so uh, if we want I mean if I want to update the something what I have done in your model then I need to do the synchronous option so this too is important thanks viewers for watching this video